that's what should change now to the young guys. Otherwise, you're gonna lose it. Ngayon may opportunity pa, ayaw pa nyo. Ang nangyayari sa mga bata ngayon, pag may problema, umaayaw, umaalis. You don't work, you don't eat. As simple as that. You're to earn one peso from one million people than earning one million from one person. We are here right now with Mr. Josel Dossi, the chairman and founder of Ever Belena, to share to us how he became successful and also we are honored that he will share to us his wisdom. So, hi Uncle, hello. Hi, good morning. morning. Hi. Good morning. Welcome hi, to my office. So Uncle, kailan ka nagsimula na mag-work mag or mag-business? Actually, I started way back when I was in high school. Uh, I remember it was a high school, second, third year. Pag summer break, I get some summer jobs. Uh, as you know, at that time, we were not well off. Not many people know that uh, I started, uh, my, my uncle was fairly well off when he was alive, but unfortunately, he passed away in 1969 uh, in a factory accident. So when he passed away at 58 years old, I was 11 years old. Uh, right there and there, I saw the transition from a huge company, biglang pababa, kasi there was no succession. When my uncle passed away, uh, the one who took over was my uncle. He was 19, 20 years old, just out of high school. So obviously, the untimely death of my uncle was unforeseen so there was no preparation and then simply I cannot blame my uncle also because he has to take over at such a young age so I saw what happened in a little over 10 years the company has to close down and I was working for that company in 1976 when I graduated from high school my uncle asked me to work in his company I started as a bank messenger not only as a bank messenger, uh, my dream at that time was to be a professional basketball player. Mm. But because of the circumstances, I cannot play anymore. I have to work in the daytime and uh, do uh, study at night. So it's a working student. So the dream of playing basketball evaporated. So talagang masakit sa looban ko, but no choice. Eh. So life has to go on. I need to have my own livelihood. That was in 1976. From 1976 to 1983, that's seven, eight years. So I work hard. I think many of my kids doesn't even know this. Uh, we live in Alvarado extension, and your dad is in La Torre. Mm. We were neighborhood kids. Mm. We go to Uno High School together. Sempre, it's all walking. It's two, three minutes walk. You're in school, then. Pag uh, in the morning session, magsara, we just walk home, eat our lunch, and we walk back to school. That was our life. What was an easy life. But come here in the university or college days, totally life changes because uh, we have to go to Moraita. That's where all the schools were at that time. It's called the university belt. So we walk to school from home or from our work we take jeepneys going to school. Kind of unheard of today. Mga bata ngayon, lahat, puro may kotse, may yaya, may driver. Kami wala, lakad lang talaga. Tapos pag, during rainy season, grabe, we walk home, baha. So, lusong kami sa tubig. Ano ba the good thing? At that time, hindi masyado madumi yung tubig nun. At least, better off than now. So, that's how our life was. 
And uh, I just want to share with you because you guys might not know what we did before. Eh, siyempre, sabi ko nga sa mga anak ko, when you came in to your life, it's already a building na may elevator na. Eh kami nung no, walang elevator, walang building. Hagdanan. So, hagdanan lang. And mga bahay, it's ordinary houses, di ba? So, yes, I started 1983 at 25 years old. Siguro 76 to you know, 83. I remember the, all the money I saved was 150,000. Yun ang pinuhunan ko sa Everbilena. And I started Everbilena with just one line, nail polish lang at that time. The brand is actually owned by the Taiwanese guy. It's called Ever Bilena. Ever is in forever. Bilena in uh, Mandarin is Bile, is beautiful. Oh. Na is lady. So it's forever beautiful lady. So ang arrangement namin with the uh, Taiwanese uh, partner is you register in the Philippines. Ikaw bahala, ikaw may ari ang brand sa Philippines. So that's how I started. And then outside of Philippines, siya naman bahala sa Ever Bilena. Eh, fortunately, dito pumutok yung Everbilena. Yung sa kanila, sa Taiwan, hindi masyado. O, naging parang ano siya, OEM lang. Mm. So, he just produced for his uh, clients all over the world. Na sometimes they use his brand, sometimes they have their own brands. So, dito lang talagang pumatok ang uh, Everbilena up to now. So, from nail polish, I just keep on expanding to lipstick, eyeshadow, eyeliner. And, uh... During that time, I remember your dad came to my my haunted house in Felix Huertas. Mm-hmm. Diyan mo pala niluluto yung mga lipstick mo. <laughs> Saka yung pag, pag, ano, salin ng nail polish. So that's how we started. It's really tough. Uh, I started with only four people. Uh, talagang from scratch. And then there are days na walang benta. Tapos walang masingil. So it's not easy, but... It's what we call perseverance, mm. which I seldom see to the Gen Z yes. and millennials Agreed. now. Sabi ko, hindi niyo nakikita pa na kami maghirap. Minsan, iiyak ka na lang na, naku, walang magawa siya, walang mabenta, walang produkto. Everything is so unpredictable. Mm. You have to really go out and look for means mm. how to survive. Mm-hmm. So, it's really that difficult. So, even my kids na sa'yo, kala nila, pag walang benta, ganun lang. Mm-hmm. Bukas may benta na. Mm-hmm. Before, hindi ganun eh. Kasi mm-hmm. at that time, nobody knows ever Bilena. Mm-hmm. So, you have to work. Kailangan aggressive talaga. Talagang sisipag ka. Kung hindi oh. sisipag. Actually, da- dati, we look for our own opportunity. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, may opportunity pa. Ayaw pa nyo. Mm-hmm. Ayaw pa nila. So, I remember sabi nga ni Gokong Wey nun eh. You don't work, you don't eat. Mm-hmm. As simple as that. Yeah. So, talagang, it's, life is not that easy. And then, you have to work your ass out talaga. Na you have to do something to have that something. Mm-hmm. So, otherwise, hindi yung darating. And then, pag pinagsasabihan kami ng mga boss ko o yung the, my superior ko, I'm more than happy because I'm learning. Mm-hmm. Well, ngayon, pag napagsabihan mo sila, Ayaw na. Oh. Bukas, hindi mo makita, nag-resign na. Oh. So, how can you learn if you don't accept mm-hmm. uh, constructive criticism? Mm-hmm. That's what should change now to the young guys. Otherwise, you're gonna lose it. Mm-hmm. Actually, sabi nga nila, the, the truth hurts. So, kasi paminsan may mga i- ibang tao, mas gusto natin yung siya sabi, pinipraise tayo ng oh. ibang tao. Pero, when people praises, praise you, wala na wala ka naman natututunan eh. You have to be careful when people praise you. Oh, actually. Baka may kailangan sa iyo, di ba? Mga hidden agenda. Oh. Ano? Actually, during the time I was growing up, I prefer people telling me what to do this, scold me. That means that they care about you. If they care you, like yung parents natin, mm-hmm. pinagagalitan tayo because gusto nila makayos tayo. Mm-hmm. Kasi we are not perfect. Mm-hmm. We need our parents to guide us. Actually, kaya, Uncle, sobrang thankful ako na binigyan mo ako opportunity to yeah. interview you is because um, sa generation ngayon, we need some guidance from the uh, older generations. The baby boomers, the mga, thousand. Ano, yung mga wisdom talaga. Uh-huh. Kasi, meron kasi mga ibang generations ngayon or mga tao ngayon, iniisip nila, hindi, lumang tugtugin na yan. Eh. Wala uh-huh. na. Iba na kasi ang 
Panahon. Iba, iba na kasi ang panahon ngayon, iba na discarding ngayon. Kasi yung wisdom ninyo, uncle, mm. wisdom nyo nila papa, yan yung mga tipong parang diamond yan eh. Parang ano yan eh, parang Bible yan eh. Mm, parang Bible So, eh. the Bible teaching is the same, but it's applied differently mm -hmm. in certain generation. Mm -hmm. So, it, pero the, the basic, ano, uh, wisdom is still there. You just have to read the Bible and you know how to apply it. I always say, God is the center of our business and our family. So, the Bible is where you get your wisdom all, all, all the time. So, we just don't know how to apply it into our lives. I always believe that God gives you the problem because God knows you can solve it. So, ang issue doon, you have to face it and work on it and not to shy away. Kasi, ang nangyari sa mga bata ngayon, Pag may problema, umaayaw, umaalis. Mm. Ayaw nilang stress. Sabi ko, work, stress is two things. Yung, if you don't do the right work, stress comes in. But if you do it right, the work comes in or the problem comes in, you settle it and uh, solve the problem, then there's no more stress. The stress is the result of non-solving. You're not solving the problem, that's why the stress comes in. Mm. But if you think positively, Stress for me, hindi ako masyadong stressful kasi alam ko pag may dumadating, aayusin mo at masosolve yan. Hmm. Diba? Mas na-stress ka pag hindi mo ginagawa ng paraan. Yes. Mas, yun yung mas nakaka-stress talaga. Yes. Eh. Sabi nga nila eh, pag minumold mo daw ang clay, uh -oh. susuntokin mo. Maraming gagawin. <laughs> Tutubigan mo uh -oh. para lumambot, tapos pipisilin mo. Adjust, oh. ano Dami. So sa buhay din, parang ganoon din eh, pag ka may problema at hindi ka nasaktan o hindi ka nasaktan dun sa process na you yun. won't learn you won't learn and you won't be molded to be a better person yes correct okay. well uh, ito this where I said the wisdom comes in that I got from Mr. Henry C and Mr. John Gokongwe I met Henry C when I was 20 I met Mr. John at when I was 25 or 26 so the wisdom they shared to me iba ang aking ano eh ang aking acceptance ng kanilang wisdom eh Yung mga bata ngayon, pag nagsisiyang wisdom, ayaw pakinggan eh. Ako naman, I take everything in, put it in my brains, and apply it in the right time. So, when I met them, they were in the 50s, 60s. I was in my 20s. Ang, ang thinking ko, ahead ako sa lahat ng kaedad ko. Kasi they shared to me their wisdom. It saved me 30 years advance na yung hindi ko pa na, na e experience na share na nila sa akin sa wisdom. So, pag dumating yung that, that time na may ganyang problem, may solusyon na ako kasi kinuwento na nila sa akin, ha, ito pala yung sinasabi niya. Sinasabi ni Mr. C, sinasabi ni Mr. Gokongwe, ganun na pala yun. Then I apply it. So, that's why sabi ko, I was 20s but I feel I'm 50s. Because I'm rich in the wisdom from the two, to, uh, to my two mentors. So, swerte lang talaga ako I was ahead. Sabi ko, if there are good mentors that is willing to share with you the wisdom, pare, grab it. Kasi you won't learn it in the school. So, it's as simple as that. Swerte lang talaga ako. I was able to get hold of the two, two of them. Ang kailang pagka, kunyari, mag, uh, mag, kunyari yung ginawa, gawa yung business, ano yung proper mindset na inisip nyo that time? Well, Kasi, basta... It's good for the masses, hindi malaki masyado ang tubo. We go for the volume. Uh, earn a little bit, go for the volume. Kasi, bakit? Kasi, mas maraming mahirap kaysa mayaman eh. Mr. C was telling me, si Tatang, it's easier to earn one peso from one million people than earning one million from one person. Sabi ko, o nga no, kasi mas maraming masa. Sabi ko, how about that one person uh, that I can earn one million? Sabi niya, that's me. <laughs> so, can you earn one million from me? Sabi ko, hindi nga eh. I don't know how to, how to earn one million from me. So, that's very difficult. That's why you stick to one peso per, per tao. Kasi there are more tao, eh, ma more masa. So, one peso for one million. Parang gano'n. Uh -huh. Uncle, any tips on saving money to have savings? Siyempre, dati, pag kumikita. Ang sweldo ko, by the way, when I was starting in 1976, 300 pesos per month. Ang minimum wage is 8 pesos. So, I'm over the minimum. 
8 pesos mo times 26 days, that's 8.20 mga 2.20, 2.30 lang. So, I'm earning 30% over the minimum. That the first year was 300. After two months, I saved 150 a month nung bagong graduate ko because papasok na ako sa college, sa PSBA. Ang tuition ko, I remember, was 350 yata. So, it's a little over two months, but I was able to to pay that tuition fee uh, on my own. Unlike today, maski kayo, mga naman, everybody has to ask money from parents. Kami, wala. We have to use our own hard-earned money to pay for our tuition. So, it's a totally different environment. That's why we call, that's why we are called working student. And right now, I don't hear working student anymore. Wala na ata nag-aaral sa gabi ngayon eh. Parang very rare, di ba? Meron din pero konti. Konti eh. Oh. Unlike kami, very, very ano, common yan. Tsaka, na-notice namin, during our high school days, those mayaman na classmate, nawawala. Those mahihirap na classmate ko, sila ang nandiyan pa sa business. Mm -hmm. So, it's a cycle eh. Mm -hmm. So, sabi ko, uh, I was born with a poor, fa poor father, but my son has a rich father. So, iba yun. Mm -hmm. So, iba ang pananaw ko, iba ang pananaw ng anak ko. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, maski ako at 65, I still wake up 6.30, I go to leave house 8 o'clock to office. And more than always, I always come to office ahead of my my kids. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Ako na una. Lahat <laughs> na wala pa eh. So, ako na una. So, because we're we're trained to do that, but the training is on my own, not because of my parents. It's my, on my own. I think you're also the same. Mm -hmm. Maaga sila nag-umpisa kasi. We're, we believe that the early bird catches the early worm. Eh. So you start early. Para after lunch, medyo pwede ka na mag na. Medyo pababa na yung, yung, ano mo, yung uh, adrenaline mo, di ba? So, no. Actually, parang sabi nga ni Papa eh. <coughs> kasi one time when I was still working for my dad, nilagnat ako. Hmm. Tapos hindi ako pumasok, pumasok sa office. Tapos nung dinner time, sabi niya, nung kasing age kita dati, nagka-chicken pox ako. Hmm. Pero nagka-cartilya pa rin ako sa divisoria. Kasi wala akong choice eh. Yes. Oh. Ngayon, kayo kasi ngayon, may mga choice kayo pag hindi kayo, puma pag hindi kayo pumasok sa office. May tao na tatulong. Oh, may tao na magti-take over, ganyan. Ako wala eh. Yes, pag hindi tama. ako nagkartilya sa Divisoria, wala akong kita that day, wala akong kakainin. Yeah. Walang kakainin ng pamilya ko. Oh. Kaya, nung nalaman ko yon sabi ko, o oh, nga no, kasi sometimes we have to train our minds yeah. na kahit na hindi naman nangyayari, oh. Titrain natin yung sarili natin na, oh, wala akong pera, wala akong pera, wala akong pera, walang pera. Para at least, yung aggressiveness natin, nandiyan parate. Nandiyan parate. Ang mga sinabi ng dad mo, kasi I always see your dad before, nagkikita kami sa divisory eh. Mm -hmm. So, doon kami nakaka, ano, nakaka, sa lubong. Sa lubong. Mm -hmm. Kasi, mas madala siya sa one luna, nandun yung mga mm -hmm. garments. Mm -hmm. Ako naman, dito sa may, ano, dito sa may, sa loob, sa mga pulgeras, yung mga, gano'n, yung mga, mm -hmm mga doon doon mga beauty, ano, mga basar-basar eh. Mm -hmm. So, totoo yun. Kasi no choice kami at mm -hmm. that time. Kami, we, we have nobody to, ano, to asa. It's ourselves only. Kaya, pag, mm -hmm. kaya na ano rin ako, na hepatitis ako eh. Kasi mm -hmm. work too hard eh. So, mm -hmm. nakakalimutan ko kumain. Puro, ang pumisan, lunch ko, 3 o'clock na. Kasi, tatapusin mo eh. Kung may opportunity, tuloy-tuloy ang trabaho. Mm -hmm. So, these are the things na yung sinasabi ng dad mo. Na nagdidil ako, nagdadrive ng kotse ko, kasama ko pa rin nate. Doon ko binababa and help pa, buhat-buhat kami. Mm -hmm. So, pag marami-rami, punta kami sa tintahan, hiram kami kartilya, mm -hmm. load, para mas madali. Mm -hmm. So, tama yun. Pareho Actually, yun. na-appreciate ko rin yung tinuturo sa akin ng papa ko. Parang one time, oh, tulong ka sa office. Mm -hmm. Tapos, siyempre, iniisip ko, oh, sige, office work to. Pero mm -hmm. hindi. Budega. Sama ako sa truck, uh -oh. pupunta ng, ano, mag-pick up, uh -oh. mag-deliver. Tapos pagdating ng ano, kunyari may pinick up, pagdating sa office, didiskarga. Deliver. So, sabi, tapos sabi ng papa ko, oh, ano tinatayo mo dyan? Hindi pa, sinecheck ko kung ilan yung lumalabas, yung ano. Uh. Hindi, magbuhat ka ng sako, kulang tayong tao. So, buhat ako <laughs> sa ako. By, back then, inisip ko, parang hirap. Grabe naman si papa, oh. Parang, di naman Lupit. ako, di naman ako kang lang, eh. Oh. 
Pero right now that I have my own family, I, I'm, That's I'm training, being independent, no? lahat na-appreciate ko siya. Oh. As in, I could honestly tell right now to everyone na kundi dahil sa training ng tatay ko sa akin, oh. it may be tough. Yeah. Pero sobrang thankful ako kasi siya yung nag bold sa akin to be you realize it afterwards nung yes. na, at that time galit ka oh uh-huh. hindi, hindi naman galit ko mga pala tatampo pa bigla pahirapan ako oh. lupit di ba pero now na realize ko lahat na uh, yeah. yun yung mga training talaga so uncle sino yung one of your idols or yung tao na you admire the most of course, yung dalawa, si Mr. John at si Mr. Henry C. Yung dalawa naman talagang idol ko from the start. Eh. Mm. So, they work hard and they really push themselves. That's why they were successful. Kaya, I, I, I will never forget. What I, keep pushing yourself. Before you know it, you will be ahead of everyone. So, and do not stay stagnant. Do not retire early. You stay stagnant, you retire early, you die early. So, maybe you, sometimes you work a little less, pahinga ka konti, magbakasyon ka, but don't stop. Kung the boys, aabutan ka at hindi ka, you have to go, you have to keep on moving, hindi pwede kang hindi gumalaw eh. So, di ba, napansin mo, those people who retire early, ang daling tumanda. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm, kasi walang... Uh, walang ano, ginagawa. Hindi uh, na gumagana utak ako. Every day, tuloy-tuloy pa na ako. Work ako. I'm 65. I just get my retirement pay two months ago. Mm. But I don't feel it. I continue working. Kasi mm. I cannot afford not to work. Eh. Mm-hmm. If I don't work, what should I do? Mm-hmm. Kaya nag, pag nag-vacation ako, after one week, gusto ko na umuwi. Kasi parang gusto ko magtrabaho ulit. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, minsan, I feel, feel ano, tired. Off muna ako, one week, a okay. few days with the kids, with the apo. So, take time off and bond with the family. But after a few days, after the most, one week, balik na ako, work na, di ba? Someone once told me, ang pera, di ba rin ang mawala? Hmm. Kaya natin kitain ulit yan eh. Pero, pag ang mukha natin na dumihan na, paminsan, hindi mo na matatanggal yung dumi na yan eh. So, it's money and credibility. Yeah, ma- for me, money is just a commodity. It's so easy to lose it, but it's also easy to earn it back. Uh, for me, credibility and time are two different uh, commodity that you cannot lose. Especially time. Time, pag ginamit mo yung time, walang solian yan. It never come back. That's why I sabi ko nga sa mga friends ko ngayon, who are at my age, 65, pare our... Our, we are in the fourth quarter. As I, I said, it's always 20 years per quarter. So some, even the third quarter, nawawala. Fourth quarter, sabi ko, I want to finish fourth quarter. So 80 years old. Hopefully by 80, I'm still healthy. So I, I also told you that about it. Na, pare, 65, 66 na tayo. Our time is getting shorter and shorter. So you have to change a bit the lifestyle na na more t- time for family, for friends, and then we help our next gen to come in, slide in. So right now I'm 80-90%, it's Dennis doing the job. So I'm still guiding the 10 20 still here. So probably another next few years, maybe 95% sila na. We may counting 5% guidance pa rin. Then we say, have more time to meet friends and travel together to parang to bring back and reminisce our old uh, uh, friendship the high school days college days so yun ang ano yun ang aking ano tapos yung yung credibility mahirap you can very hard to lose it eh. it takes a lifetime to build the credibility so at my age 65 alam ko na yun eh yung credibility so I will never do something stupid. I will not do anything to take advantage of you for material benefit. Wala na sa akin yun. Sabi ko, pag natalo ko, okay lang yung matalo. Pera lang yan eh. So, my, the way I look at money today and 20, 30 years ago, totally changes na. It's more time, more importance of time and credibility. Kung credibility ang usapan, forget the money. Credibility talaga. That's the legacy I can share to my next gen, to the other, even to the next third generation or fourth generation. Kasi money is always there. 
But the legacy or the credibility is something else. Iba yun. So, it's parang yan ang yung diamond. You cannot lose it. Yeah. Sabi nga nila, Uncle, eh, maliit na ang mundo. Magpasira ka sa isa. Ah, kalat yun. Kalat yun. Kalat sobra. yun. So, once you lose your credibility, your world and network narrows. Keep on narrows. Sisikip on sisikip. But if your credibility is good, pare ang luwag niyan. Mm-hmm. Parang siya, oh, oh, ay, tatay niya, okay yan. Mm-hmm. Pati anak, sabit. Mm-hmm. Pag kung sinabi, ay, garami yung tatay niya, mang, mandurugas yan. Mm-hmm. Sisikip ang, pati na next year, sikip ang mundo. Mm-hmm. Kasi they always ask, sino ba ang parents yan? Ay, yan, ako, naisahan ako nun. Mm-hmm. You're dead. Mm-hmm. Kama ako yung next year mo. Mm-hmm. So now, I'm, I'm clear eh. Wala akong tinatago. Wala akong kinatatakutan. So I know my next gym will be good also. Kasi that's why I always teach my, my, uh, my kids this and that to be the credibility. And hopefully, I can still train my apo. Mm-hmm. So, para, okay, I can, yung, yung apo sa tuhod, baka hindi ko mm-hmm. naabutan. Mm-hmm. So, it's the job of my daughter and the, sa, my kids now to teach the, their apo naman. Mm-hmm on these values. Yeah. Actually, Uncle, recently, uh, may nakita ako sa Facebook ba yun o TikTok? Mm. Parang sabi nung isang lalaki, my father used to walk going to work. Yeah. I, right now, drive a BMW uh-huh. going to work. My son drives a Ferrari uh-huh. going to work. But my grandson walks Great again. Grandson. <laughs> Great grandson. Great Work, uh, walks going to work so, again. So, ano yung ano yun doon? Ano yung take up yung po doon? So, uh, sabi ko, it's a cycle nga. Eh, sabi nga. Kaya, kaya yun na, I was saying, I have a poor father and my son is a rich father. So, that cycle goes around. Yung, sabi ko, nung high school kami, sila mayaman. Tapos, look at where they are now. Nawawala na sila. So, it's the upbringing and then, uh, the circumstances surrounding our lives. Like your dad and myself, we were born in a very poor environment. So we are forced to work hard. And then your generation and my daughter's generation made an easier life. It's a very anak niya, more easy. And then, nakalimutan na ng, fourth gener- ng third generation ang first generation. So, hindi na teach yung values. So that's why that's very important. Sabi ko, kaya I want to be there for the third gen. I can still share with them. Like yung ang kong ko, na share to me na how they started. Alam ko yun. But my kids no, doesn't know anymore. But my kids how, see how, what I was doing. Only a portion. The early mm-hmm. portion, di mo nila nakita eh. When they came into this world, iba na yung mundo nila. Easier, easy life na. So, very important yung ano, kailangan gumawa si Gutan ng libro oh, saka yung mga oh, bata oh. turuan ng mm-hmm. maaga. That's why yung mga Gen Z ngayon, yung millennial, kailangan talagang makita kung ano yung nangyari before. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, hindi nila nakikita kaya iba ang lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Eh. Uncle, with your success, how do you balance your time between your family and yung business? Yeah. Well, I, I see to it na as much as possible, in Saturdays and Sunday, I give it to my family. Then, a few, maybe, let's say, every three, four months, I will try to have a trip with the kids going out. So, at least two to three trips, two to three trips a year. Yung isang trip should be longer. And another two trips is short, ma three, four days lang. Para just to bond and see what they are doing. Kasi pag ganyan, 24-7 ko na sila kasama eh. Mm-hmm. eh pag ganyan, pag working day, I only see them on the weekends. Maski weekday, nandito silang go work, I don't see them. Like now, wala si Dennis. Mm-hmm. Nasa Robinson, may meeting siya doon. Si Don Way, nasa kabilang kwarto. So, weekend na kami nag-uusap sa dinner or lunch, and not all the time pa. So, pag trips, talagang force na magkasama. Uncle, what is the most crucial decision that you have ever made in your life? Well, kung decision, marami. Sometimes you thought it's good, but once you're in, hindi pala maganda. But it's part of life na there are risks that we should take. So, there are things na you should do, but you did it, 
oh, you should not do, but may mga ganun, di ba? Na later on, you realize it. So that's a good thing, na important. We know we did something wrong. Uh, we thought it was right at that time, but it was not. So these are what we call learning from the experience na we should teach and share to the next gen. Uncle, what is one lesson that you have experienced that you want to share to the new generation right now? Well, the Asian crisis is one na I, na ano ko, I, I parang mas nagtiwala ako dun sa that person. His, uh, his father is a uh, chairman emeritus of uh, the stock exchange. I will not say his name, but na ano ko eh, nabighani ako sa kanya na parang ang big time, ang dali, ang galing. So, kinalimat, kinalimu, I forgot God, then I went to follow that person. Then, yun pala, ang mali. So, I have to nag-negative 300 million ako. So, mali-mali mga galaw ko. Sa kala ko, hindi na ako papa... I was going 39 years old, the Asian crisis. So, so I think your dad knows that story. Sabi ko, wala na. I'm done. But, uh, I kneeled down to God for three months. Talagang midnight, nagdadasal ako to take me back to your... to, ano, to where I should be. So, finally, one, one night, God lifted me up Ito, footprints in the sand eh. So, binuhat ako eh. So, that morning when I was driving to my office, parang lumulutang. Tapos, business radio, ang kanta mga God song. Sabi ko, this business radio, bakit iba? So, when I went back to office, I know who the... Alam ko lahat. The one calling me is the bank. So, I know how to react na. So, ganun. So, in three, four years, nabayaran ko yung utang ko. So, naging ano ko st- talagang uh, grounded na wala na yung yabang talagang lahat kay God na so sabi ko God should be the center so after that experience hindi na ako tumitingin sa tao sa God lang yeah. Uncle, ano yung advice naman na gusto mo ibigay sa mga tao if nung pag nagsisimula pa lang sila gumawa ng negosyo well Nothing is easy, you know. Sabi ko, you should work. No such thing as chamba. For me, you have to really work hard. The chamba is a result. It's a result of your hard work. Kung walang hard work, walang chamba yan. Talaga, kailangan mo talaga work from scratch. You have to do it on your own. You know, the in and out. So, mahirap pumasok sa isang negosyo na hindi mo alam. You should start from the bottom. Kaya lahat ng anak ko, when they come in and work here, they, I throw them to the warehouse muna. So they start from there and I give them the, the pinakama hardest account to work with so that they will learn. Otherwise, if they don't learn from the ground, you won't know it. So like your dad, we started from the bottom. Kami na kumpisa. So alam namin. Kaya muna napalaki na namin, isang tingin lang, we know, mali yan. So ganun... Because of the richness of experience na. So, yun lang. Start from scratch, work hard on it, persevere, and uh, no such thing as quick fix. Kailangan talaga ayusin ng ayos. Sabi nga nila eh, ang nakukuha mo na mabilis, pabilis rin daw mawawala Correct. sa'yo. Correct. Parang sabi ko, like nagtatanim tayo, yung palay, mabilis, three months, cut na. Ako gusto ko yung matagal. Like you uh, durian or mango tree, five, seven years yan. But once it grows, tuloy-tuloy. Like every villain na, 40 years old na. Siyempre, nababagyo, humihina ang ani sometimes. But hindi siya matutumba. So, just nurture it. Tuloy mo yung fertilizer, kailang alagaan. So, tuloy-tuloy na yan. And then, kailangan may, may next gen na sumunod na paano din ayusin yung puno, the mango tree that we built 40 years ago. Uh, no one person is the same. Parang God created, God is so good eh. Walang, no one person is the same. Even twins are not the same. Di ba? That's why we have our own fingerprints. We have own identity. So don't get jealous with the other guy. Because buhay niya yan eh. Buhay niya, buhay ko. Iba tayo. So don't compare yourself with the other guys. Just... 
Pwede, kung magaling siya, pag-aral mo bakit siya magaling, bakit siya naging successful, but don't copy 100% kasi it will not happen to you. Like sinasabi ko, there's only one Michael Jordan or one Bill Russell. Sa million-million, billion-billion tao, isa lang yan eh. So, pag-aral mo, paano siya naging ganun? He worked extra hard. Magugulat ka. They practice sila, Kobe Bryant, they practice eight hours a day. Hindi naman naging ganyan na gumano lang. You don't see how they work. They work so hard on it. That's why they become what they are. So in the same manner, na if you want to be successful like them, you have to work your heart as out. Talagang kailangan magtrabaho ka ng matindi to become that successful. Because hindi pwedeng maging successful yan na hindi paghihirapan. Thank you, Uncle Joseldo, yeah. for giving us the time na para ma-interview kayo and to give us uh, advices din and to motivate din us. Kasi sometimes we really seek yung wisdom ng mga successful na tao katulad po ninyo. And we're honored na, I know it's uh, it's a busy day for you, but yeah. thank you, thank you so much, Uncle Joseldo. Hey, thank you for the opportunity. So, basta sharing experiences and wisdom for our next generation na uh, young people, I'm always open to that. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.